The way in which steel frame buildings behave in fires depends on their construction. In this test, done by British Steel in 1995, a large amount of typical office furniture was burnt to see what would happen to the heavy steel beams that supported the ceiling. When steel is bare, when it heats up, uh, it uh, gets weaker. It's not that it melts in a fire. In fact, uh, the fires, normal fires are not hot enough to melt steel. Even if you were, for example, to uh, use an unusual uh, fuel like um, kerosene, you cannot achieve temperatures hot enough to melt steel. But what happens is it starts to lose its strength. And as it loses its strength, uh, it starts to sag. It, it becomes uh, softer and sags and can no longer support the load. This was the largest test of its type ever carried out and it showed how unprotected steel can be distorted even by a normal office fire. But as is usual in steel buildings, the structural beams only slowly and progressively warped and sagged. There was no chance of a sudden collapse. In over 20 years, um, I have not seen, until recently, a protected steel structure that has collapsed in a fire. So what was the cause of the devastating explosive failure that happened to the World Trade Center?